Hi guys, it's Marka Pussy here and we're back with another song reaction and today we're doing the song Texas Flood by Stevie Ray Vaughan. I have heard of Stevie Ray Vaughan. I know that he is considered one of the guitar greats, but I've never actually heard him because I've not heard, well, 90% of the music from, from around this era. We're going to go in, we're going to listen to it, we're going to see is he actually any good at guitar? I, suppo I, I guess he's alright. And then we'll see how emo was Stevie Ray Vaughan. So stick around for the end of the video to get annoyed by that answer. And stupid to people who are like knowledgeable about this stuff because I'm not so much feels like proper fucking old school blues take the distortion away from it it feels like I'm trying to think of some like proper old like muddy waters type stuff the bass line is just, is just your typical blues scales it's got that kind of swing to it that it's quite bluesy, but it's like he's singing as well. He's got. I'm trying to think of the way to phrase this that isn't he massively offensive. And I could, right, I could be wrong. So, right, I'm going to say some stuff. I'm almost definitely wrong. Feel free to correct me in the comments because it is. This is as much a learning journey for me as it, like, for me it's a learning journey. For you, it's a wee blast of nostalgia to come in and hopefully have me reiterate back to you why you originally liked the song in the first place. And then you get the wee feels and you move on. And it's a wee kind of dopamine hit for you guys. For me, it's a chance to appreciate music that I'd never heard before and learn more about different genres and different eras of music that I, that I am up until now unfamiliar with. So, 
I'm going to say some stuff. Could be wrong. I don't mind being corrected. Blues kind of originated in America during, like, slavery. I think the slaves who were kind of wrote and they're like were singing the original bluesy type songs when they were out in the fields when slavery was outlawed etc etc then the blues became more kind of popularized and slightly more mainstream but i think it was still kind of mostly black artists that were doing it which is why i was thinking like muddy waters and but that's the thing, right? That's where my knowledge starts to be, starts to unravel because I don't know that many blues artists. And then, but then I could start to name artists that I think are blues, but I, but wouldn't be because I don't know enough. Like is Louis Armstrong blues? Al Jolson? I don't know. Like Stevie Ray Vaughan's taken those influences and then twisted it slightly with the introduction of like electric guitar and like so far I'm liking it but I'm also like it's a 10 minute long fucking song how many solos is it actually gonna need well the clouds are rolling out standing out in the rain To drive post to the ray inside. musicians who can get their instrument to sound almost like an offshoot of them. That doesn't sound like, I mean it does sound like an electric guitar, but it doesn't sound like an electric guitar. It's It's got so much fucking soul in it and feeling in it. It sounds like a level above just guitar playing. The only other musicians there's like two other musicians I can think of off the top of my head that can do that. One is Miles Davis and the other one would be the singer from Puddle of Mud when he's singing about a girl, specifically about a girl. If you haven't heard like Miles Davis or Puddle of Mud doing that, then you should you should check out Kind of Blue by Miles Davis. You specifically want to hear so what by Miles Davis? It's it's incredible. You want to check out the live version of About a Girl, like the, the live acoustic version of About a Girl by Puddle of Mud. That is two transcendental performances. It's it's it it will change what you think you know about vocals and wee horns. <laughs>
Did he just fucking reach on his guitar right in the middle of a solo? I'm not going to go into too much here, right? I am just going to say this. He's taking the fucking piss at this point. He is taking the piss. That's fucking ridiculous. That. Unnecessary. Unfucking necessary. <laughs> Every day the fuck? Nah. Nah. Right, okay, you know what, right, we'll no put them into the emo scale, because that wasn't emo. It wasn't emo. We'll no dent it ourselves. Right, I've had enough. Here's my question that I will ask. Here's a tough one for you. Who's better? Stevie Ray Vaughan? Or Alex Lifeson? Oh, argue out in the comments. Oh, also, actually, fuck you. Well, it's already in the right spot. It's already in the right spot. Look at that. It's right up there. We're going to Thunderdome this, right? Alex Leifson, Stevie Ray Vaughan, who's better? Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry I could not give you more of a technical breakdown of that. But I do not have a fucking clue what that man just did. 